Jim never reviews takedown models, only the expensive ones. Just like every other line from Nike, the brand new Phantom Vision 2 has top end as well as takedown models all at different price points. If you want the best of the best, that's the Elite. It's gonna run you $275 at full retail. But if you don't have that kind of money, but are still into the Phantom Vision 2 concept, you can go for the first model below, the Nike Phantom Vision 2 Pro, which instead of 275, is gonna run you 150, which is still not cheap, and means that it's in the same price point as a lot of potential top end options. The question is, is it worth the $150? And I'm gonna answer this question right now. If it's between the Phantom Vision 2 Pro and a pair of Phantom Vision 1 Elites that are on sale, you should absolutely buy the Phantom Vision 1 Elite. It is a way better football boot in pretty much every single way. With that said, I still think the Phantom Vision 2 Pro is a decent pair of football boots, certainly an improvement over the original Vision Pro that it replaces. So in this video, I wanna go over all the details of this boot, compare it a little bit to the top end Elite model, take a look at the boots on feet, and of course determine whether or not this is worth the money. So if you want to learn more, please stick around, watch the entire review, and if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below. That's going to take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive sr for you coupon codes. We will be able to pick these up below their normal $150 retail price. Now even though these are $150, it's still a takedown model, which means that it comes in a regular orange Nike box with no extras at all. String bags cost money. But despite not coming with a string bag, the boots themselves are actually pretty decent. And like I said earlier, a definite improvement over the Phantom Vision Pro model that it replaces. The Vision 2 Pro is basically many of the same elements. It's still a mesh-based synthetic material, still has a Nike skin top layer, it still has a lace cover, it still has ghost laces, which are basically just laces underneath a lace cover. Internally, it does not use quad fit. That is still exclusive to the top end elite model. Instead, you have a mesh-based synthetic that's very similar to what you have on the lace cover, acting as a quad fit system, basically in the same shape, but certainly not being as effective and of course the sole plate and stud pattern stud pattern mainly is identical to that of the elite the sole plate despite looking very similar is actually made from a different material that is arguably a little bit more flexible and slightly cheaper but the difference overall is minimal also these boots do not have acc so i guess we'll start with the upper and you'll immediately notice if you're familiar with the original vision pro that texturing is a much more significant element this time around where they basically matched almost exactly what you'll find on the top end elite where previously you only had texturing in the little triangle area on the medial side. The rest of the upper was left smooth. That is not the case at all. You have this kind of rough texturing here through the forefoot and toe box area, even more significant texturing here on the medial side. And then this kind of debossed area on the lateral side of the foot, kind of broken up into the same sections. I will admit it's not quite as rough as the top end model, but it comes pretty close and ultimately does end up feeling pretty similar on the ball in terms of giving you a little bit of added grip. It's not along the lines of a rubber striking element, but it's definitely something that you will notice in comparison to other boots. Of course, underneath all of this texturing, you have a mesh based synthetic, which is very kind of thin and very condensed. So you're not really gonna notice any real padding from that mesh-based synthetic. It ends up feeling very plasticky to a certain extent. And then internally, you're going to have what is basically in place of a quad fit system in the form of just a stretchy regular mesh. Very similar to what you have here on the lace cover, very difficult for me to show you. And like I said, when you break it all down from a technical standpoint, it sounds very similar to the Elite. But trust me when I say, that the difference in materials used does make a huge difference in terms of what the final product ends up being. The internal quad fit system on the Elite, that material specifically makes the world of difference in terms of overall performance, as well as just general comfort. I find the Elite model to be significantly more comfortable than the Pro and the quality of the upper, the difference between this kind of Nike skin covered mesh and the fly knit with a Nike skin covering, again, pretty significant difference in terms of overall comfort, overall flexibility, and certainly touch on the ball. The Elite just feels a lot more natural, where the Pro, just like the original, maybe a little bit less so, still feels kind of clunky to me. And the reason for that is layers. This is a concept that is all based around different layers of material. And when that material is premium, soft, flexible, very thin, it feels great like it does on the Elite. But when you get into materials that are a little bit chunky or a little bit stiffer, and maybe more plasticky feeling, the end result just isn't as nice. One of the main design elements of the Vision line is of course the lace cover, which is still present here on the Pro, made from a padded mesh.
mesh material that doesn't stretch nearly as much as the elasticated flyknit of the Elite, which means that it does make putting the boots on and taking them off maybe a little bit more difficult than it should be, but it fits a lot closer to the top of your foot than the previous Pro variation did, which had this kind of awful look to it when the boot was on foot, especially when you bent your foot and everything kind of pulled away. So this ends up feeling and looking a lot more streamlined, which is a definite improvement. Like I said, it does still have ghost laces, as you can see by the branding right there, which are basically just regular laces that attach to that internal kind of mock quad fit system just made out of a regular mesh. And the laces do still go a long way in terms of securing your foot in place. This is not a pair of boots that I would recommend wearing laceless. Moving to the rear, you will maintain a low cut construction, but for some reason they feel the need to add a collar. It has been lowered this time around, so very similar to the Elite model. They even add a little pull tab here at the front, which is something that I'm personally a big fan of. It does make putting the boots on and taking them off a little bit less stressful because you always had to pull on this soft kind of elasticated material. Always felt like it was gonna rip, never had that issue though. Uh, and the collar is basically insignificant. It does attach to that internal quad fit system, uh, which I wouldn't really recommend cutting it off for that particular reason, but it's basically there to do nothing other than to look cool if you actually think it looks cool. I've also had a lot of people ask about this. There is still an internal plastic structure to the heel counter. And then this thing on the top, just like you'll find on the Elite is just kind of minimal texturing that does absolutely nothing. Internally, you'll find that the heel is lined in a soft mesh material, which I can't say is my favorite, although I didn't have any issues with it. I just think long-term in terms of durability, when you end up with mesh material, it can kind of ball up a little bit, which could result in some discomfort. But again, that's just a personal preference thing. And then the insole is fully removable. It's a single layer of this mesh material. It has this very kind of slim profile through the midfoot. And I definitely will say that the Pro fits a little bit tighter than the Elite because of the firmer materials, but the insole itself is pretty straightforward, just being made out of this single layer of gray foam. And then moving to the base, as you can see, the stud pattern is identical to what you'll find on the Elite, which is on top, Pro on the bottom. So no difference in regards to traction at all. The difference is the sole plate, which is just a slightly different type of plastic that, like I said, feels a little bit more flexible, a little bit softer in general, which is not necessarily a bad thing as a whole. I don't have any problems with it. And the stud pattern is actually pretty good. When it comes to weight, the Vision 2 Pro doesn't feel that far off the Elite, but also isn't spectacularly lightweight, but you probably weren't expecting it to be. In a size 9.5 US, you can see that they weigh in at 8.4 ounces, the equivalent of 239 grams, which is give or take a couple grams more than the Elite model, not a noticeable amount of weight by any means, and as a whole, kind of on par with most other football boots in this particular category. So there are a few quirks to the Phantom Vision concept because of the lace cover, where you don't get to see the laces, therefore swapping them out for SR4U laces is kind of useless unless you're just trying to score more goals, but it is possible. However, putting them on because of this mesh lace cover that's not particularly stretchy, the opening or the angle of the opening makes things a little bit more difficult than I think it should be. Again, the pull tab I think definitely helps, but what I like to do is use both hands, kind of pull the opening up, and then kind of just use my back thumb as a little bit of a shoehorn so I don't crush the back. And then again, it kind of gets a little bit tight. You have to really work your foot in there. And granted, as you break the boots in, they're gonna stretch a little bit and it won't be so bad. But from there, once they're on, you kind of wanna pull that internal system as snug as possible, pull the lace cover a little bit, and then leave the two ends on the outside. Then from there, just tighten it all up and it tightens pretty much all the way down. It's a relatively shallow lacing system fold this over, tie the laces, and then cover them up with the lace cover. On feet, the Vision 2 Pro fits really well, but it's also a little bit stiffer and tighter than I was expecting it to be out of the box. I feel like one of the major issues with the original Vision Pro is that it was just too sloppy through the midfoot and then across the top where they had extra slack for the lace cover, where when you bent your foot, everything kind of pulled away and it just had this horrible look to it. Didn't feel the greatest either. That has clearly been fixed with this new generation. When you bend, everything stays nice and tight to your feet, but because they've brought in all the materials, the boot just fits a lot tighter. This being much tighter fitting than the top end elite model and not really a great option if you did have really wide feet. You'd have a hard time getting them on and then once they are on, they're probably just gonna be more snug than you'd like them to be. But as a whole, the boot fits really, really well once you get them on and they feel relatively secure as well, considering that it doesn't actually have a real quad fit system 
using the quad fit material. Lockdown is definitely above average and the boots, like I said, don't feel cheap. Just expect to have a little bit of a break in process because the materials, because there are different layers and because it is a little bit plasticky on that top layer, it's a little bit stiffer than I think most top end boots or at least most boots at this price range would be out of the box. Width wise, like I said, tighter overall fit, not ideal for wider foot types. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US and the fit and the length is perfect. So if you're looking to order some for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. So in conclusion, is the Vision 2 Pro worth the $150 price tag? I think if you had the original Vision Pro and you really like those, you're going to enjoy this because it is a slightly improved variation of that particular boot. But in pretty much any other circumstance, if you just have $150 to spend and you're looking for the best possible products, I don't think this is the one I would pick. For 150 bucks, I would definitely take a look at what's on sale in terms of older models or older colorways from Nike or other brands. Top end boots can be found on sale for 150 bucks pretty much all day long. And even in comparison to Nike's other pro tier boots, if I really wanted something with a knitted style upper, I would definitely buy the Mercurial either Vapor 13 Pro or Superfly 7 Pro over what Nike has done with the Vision 2 Pro. And don't get me wrong, I don't think they're bad in any way at all. I just don't think that there's anything about them given the $150 retail price that makes them stand out from other football boots you can buy for the same amount of money or less. Anyways guys, that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in some of these for yourself, you can click the first link down below. That's gonna take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes to pick these up below their normal $150 retail price. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.